Boxing King Media in association with Box Row Sheldon McDonnell. Seventh fight coming up. Yeah. Uh, first of all, tell me how excited are you to be back in the ring again? Because last time round, I don't know if you heard me on the commentary, I noticed you trimmed out quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, I trimmed down well. Um, you know, uh, it's been a long time I've been working with my nutritionist now. So it's just getting to that stage where we're really getting it cemented in. We've got a lot of data to work on. My weight's coming down nice, so keeping it um, you know, level throughout um, when I'm not fighting as well. So I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, I am looking forward to this fight. Um, it's going to be the first one of two, uh, 2023. Um, I finished well with a good performance to the end of 2022. So I just want to keep going with that momentum and carry on. Yeah. You know, uh, at your weight, it's hard to probably find journeymen to come and learn off. But yeah. that last guy that you fought, I noticed he kind of brought the action to you as well. So yeah. it was good for you because you got to take a few licks and give him yeah, a few yeah, more yeah, back. That's it. that's it. That's what I'm in there for, you know. I want to download some data. I want to make sure I can break down these opponents and um, build on the rounds that I've worked on before. You know, I started off on four rounders. I want to build to six rounders going forward. Um, and try and get some of them under my belt. So if that phone does ring uh, and the opportunity comes for something like, you know, what these guys are fighting for, English title, Central Area title, you know, I'll be all up for that. I, I, and I think you're probably not too far away from it because at your weight, th there's not many fighters there, games that you can mess about with, really. Yeah, when you really look at the landscape of the cruiserweight division, there's, there's, a, there's a big drop in the, um, there's a big gap, um, which I think I can fill. Um, so obviously I don't want to rush in, I'm not deluded, you know, I know that I only had eight amateur fights and I'm coming in and, um, but you know, I want to show that people that I'm willing to just get in there and, and take these opportunities and see where I can go and build on, and I, I know that it'll be all learning and, and it'll make me a better fighter in the long run. I'm just talking about your, um, I believe you recently, did you get a degree as well recently? Yeah, yeah, recently I finished my degree in um, accounting and finance, um, so that was really good, um, you know, so yeah just moving on from that um just that got that under my belt now it's something that i dedicated myself for for four years and now it's moving on to the next dedication of my life which is boxing and uh, putting everything into that what's your is your plan to leave the degree education on the on the side you've got it there to fall back on are you going to concentrate on the boxing well yeah well for now um i'm working doing some um, deliveries at the moment just to keep ticking over um if i if i was to go into that i'd be looking at like a graduate scheme and i think a graduate scheme um, along with full-time commitment to these training camps I don't think that would be very beneficial for myself so I'm giving myself time I'm dedicating I'm pushing to see how far I can get and uh, see where I go uh, I hope nobody burns you there uh, Sheldon is there anything else you want to add before I let you go yeah. No, I just want to give a big shout out to my sponsors, All Seasons Energy, AAC Limited, Popping Candy and Vars Contractors. These guys are keeping me going. Um, big shout out to my team, you know, um, Prime Nutrition, um, Finn uh, McAmara, my strength and condition guy, um, Roger Sampson and all the guys at the gym are keeping me pushing um, and hopefully we all have a good year. Yeah, you come. Uh, I mentioned uh, your gym to uh, Owen when I spoke to him earlier. Your gym is packed with so much talent. And I think fans out there need to realise that Sheffield gym in the manor is going to be churning out some champions very soon because all you guys are young, hungry, and all of you are tal talented. Even Carl Samson, to give him a shout out, yeah. probably one of the best journeymen in the Definitely. country, won four or five on the road against undefeated fighters last year. So you're all flying. Yeah, we're all working together. We're all a, a, a tight knit group. You know, we're all um, pushing on each other and dead, uh, you know, yeah, making sure we're all in check, really. And um, yeah, it's a good gym. Uh, it, all, it all comes down to Roger Sampson and Gary Wilson um, bringing their teachings and their disciplines down onto us. Uh, and we give big thanks for that, definitely. I can remember when, um, when I, I first had uh, Boxing King Media on Snapchat and um, you was in um, uh, videos and then you came down to our gym and then uh, you got involved with our gym. You've been down a good couple of times. So, you know, it shows that we're all, we're all progressing, we're all elevating and um, yeah, I just can't wait for this year. Oh. Likewise, uh, Sheldon, I look forward to your journey, man. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.